systems that appear real-time but are batch transaction processing systems, credit card transactions. Credit card transactions at first glance appear the same as debit card transactions, where funds are immediately transferred from a user's bank account to purchase goods or services in real time at the time of a transaction. So when you go to purchase a product, you might use the your own bank card, you go to the FPOS terminal, you specifically select savings, and then it will deduct the amount that you're paying for these goods straight out of your bank account. Now, the difference with credit card transactions is that when the payment is made for the good or service, the money is not coming out of the user's bank account. It's instead being paid for by their bank. So the transaction will take place in real time. It will still appear as normal as if you were doing a debit card transaction. But the movement of money from the customer's account back into the bank's savings is a batch process. So what will happen is at a set time, the bank will process all credit transactions that have taken place during a specific period. It will then execute a batch process which will move all the money owed from a group of customers accounts back into the bank's reserve paying off the credit debt of all these customers so we're going to illustrate this now we're going to illustrate it showing both why it appears as real time when you make this purchase but essentially why it's a batch process with what's going on behind the scenes so let's first look at it as a context diagram and our system is going to be the banking credit system. Now, the system is part of the bank, so we're not going to be referring to the bank at any point. But what I will say is that our external entity here is not going to be a customer. It's more than likely going to be a retailer that the customer is using or purchasing from. Their system, and most likely through their FPOS system, is going to be communicating with the bank. What's it going to be communicating now? So the customer goes up there, they make a credit transaction. The retailer's system, their FPOS system, will send through the customer's banking details, the purchase amount, and the date and time of the purchase. Okay, that will be sent from the retailer, and then the bank will respond to the retailer, okay, and give the funds for the purchase. So as an overview with this um, context diagram, this all looks pretty simple. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. That will take place exactly the same virtually for a debit transaction. Okay, it's what happens within the banking credit system after that makes it a batch process. And we'll be able to see that better with a data flow diagram. So once again, we'll start off with the retailer and we're gonna be a bit more specific here. Okay, they're gonna send through their details, the customer's banking details, the purchase amount, and the date and time. And this is gonna be used to create a transaction record. Now this transaction record will be stored in the credit payments, okay, Tra a transaction file essentially, okay, and all the transactions uh, that are made with credit payments would be stored in this data store. That record will be made there. The next process will be, okay, to pay the retailer and then the funds that sent through to the retailer from the bank's own reserve. So that payment's made now, and basically it was a real time payment. The customers now paid for their goods, they can leave the retailer, they got a docket, all sorted. But what hasn't happened is the movement of money out of the customer's accounts. So at some specific point, the transaction records will be uh, gotten out of the data store. They'll be retrieved, okay, and organized for processing, okay? And it will have on the records, okay, it will be linked to specific customers. What will happen then is we've got to conduct our batch process, okay, with those organized records, okay? They may be organized by specific date and times, okay, or due dates of payments, something along those lines. So the batch process occurs, and then from there, that transaction data will be used to update the customer's financial records, essentially deducting the amount from those customers' amounts that they were owing for their credit transaction. So I hope this gives you an understanding of how credit transactions occur. However, they appear at first glance like a real-time transaction that would take place with a debit card, deducting money from a, a user's bank account. But essentially, it's actually the bank's money being used, and that part takes place in real time. But then the movement from the customer's account back into the bank's reserve is actually a batch process, which is done at a later date at a specific time for multiple customers at a time.